Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Vanadada's Cosmetic Clinic Show. We are learning about the latest developments in aesthetic medicine offered by Vanadada's Cosmetic Surgery and their cosmetic surgeons. Today's special guest is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon and a cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Danielle Cariega. Hey, Meredith. Hi, doctor. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for coming. Today we have the honor of having Dr. Cariega live in our studios. He is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon and one of the most talented cosmetic surgeons at Vanadada's Cosmetic Surgery. Hair on your upper lip, chin, underarms, bikini line, arms or legs? Get rid of it with the most advanced laser. Cellulite? Cellu M6 is the latest technology applied by a personal therapist. Surgical procedures for the face, forehead, neck and nose, which will make you feel as you always dreamed of and will give you the most desirable profile. Hair implant, liposuction, liposuction, tummy tuck and much more. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Vanadada's Cosmetic Clinic Show. We are learning about the latest developments in aesthetic medicine offered by Vanadada's Cosmetic Surgery and their cosmetic surgeons. Today's special guest is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon and a cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Danielle Cariega. Hi, Dr. Thank Cariega. It's wonderful to have you. Today we have the honor of having Dr. Daniel Cariega live in our studios. He is a plastic and reconstructive surgeon and one of the most talented cosmetic surgeons at Vanadade's Cosmetic Surgery. He is board certified in general surgery, member of the American College of Surgeons, member of American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Welcome, and welcome again to Dr. Cariega. Dr. Cariega, your credentials are evidence of your preparation in the field of cosmetic surgery. And from my point of view, you transmit a, a sense of security to those patients who are looking for a doctor who can deliver that lifelong dream of improving their figure. Thank you. We encourage all of you watching to check out the Vanadades Cosmetic Surgery website at www.myvanadades.com where you can review Dr. Cariega's credentials and find lots of other interesting information like our 3D cosmetic surgery animation and education library customized exclusively to our practice and for your enjoyment and education free of charge to our patients. Dr. Cariega, in general, what are the greatest satisfactions that you get personally from being a cosmetic surgeon? Honestly, it's the relationship that you develop with your patients. It's unlike any other specialty in medicine. You take somebody that has uh, a particular problem that has given them insecurity perhaps all of their lives, mm -hmm. and they come in and uh, together with the patient you formulate the plan, you know, you diagnose what is the, the problem, what is the, the issue that is concerning the patient, mm -hmm. uh, and then formulate a treatment plan and, and ultimately see it through to where the patient is happy with their new result. Uh, the, the feeling that the patient has and then the way they express it is, is just immeasurable. I'm sure. It's really life-changing, isn't it? It is. It, it's, that's amazing. It must make people feel so good about themselves. Yeah. And, and what are the most common cosmetic surgeries out there? What do you see your patients coming in to you asking for? Most commonly, and pretty much across the country, it's liposuction followed by breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. And of course, Miami is no different. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of patients that come in, younger girls, for, for primarily for breast augmentation, and liposculpture. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, there's uh, facial rejuvenation as well. Okay, so pretty much uh, liposuction and, and breast augmentation would right. be at the top. And um, speaking of breast implants, what techniques are you using right now um, to perform the surgery? What is, what is the latest? Well, the latest was three years ago, the mm -hmm. FDA, uh, you know, as you know, there was about a 15-year moratorium on the implantation of silicone breast implants I heard that, for yeah. cosmetic uses. Mm -hmm. Now, three years ago, after multiple studies that showed that there was no additional risks of connective tissue diseases such as lupus, autoimmune disorders, mm -hmm. increased risk of breast cancer, they approved the silicone implants for implantation again for cosmetic usage. Okay. So the first decisions that we need to arrive at when the uh, customer comes to see me for breast augmentations is number one, what type of implant, silicone mm -hmm. versus saline. Okay. And then the choice is through which, appro which approach are we going to use. You mm -hmm. can make uh, uh, an incision in the armpit, oh. uh, one uh, underneath the nipple or one underneath the breast in the fold. Wow. Um, so I try to involve my patients in each of these particular decisions to arrive at what they would be most uh, pleased with. And that sounds like it must cut down a lot on the scarring. 
It does. Each mm -hmm. each technique has its its benefits, um, and I try to really give them a good explanation of each one so that they can make an informed decision. That's important. And and how do you decide what size is appropriate for breast implants? It's very difficult to just have one way of deciding the best sized implant for mm -hmm. a particular patient. Uh, when a patient comes in, I take certain measurements. Okay. Based on those, the implant manufacturers have recommendations as to which implant should fit or best fit that breast. Okay. In addition, there are sizers that we have in the office, and the patients can actually try them on. Really? And that gives them a good idea as to how will they look post-operatively. So I try to take the measurements plus how the patient felt about a particular sized implant, mm -hmm. and then arrive at an implant which will for the most. Okay, great. So it's a decision you make together with the patient. Absolutely. Okay. It's an important decision. Yes. Yes. And Dr. Cariega, can can you um, can can you tell me can a tummy tuck surgery um, remove stretch marks that women may have? Yes and no. Okay. If you imagine a uh, the tummy tuck surgery is basically removing the excess abdominal skin that mm -hmm. has developed over the years through either weight fluctuations, pregnancy and deliveries or just as a part of the aging process. Mm -hmm. There's usually, and fortunately, most of the stretch marks that occur on the abdomen happen in the lower abdomen. Mm -hmm. The ones that are in the lower abdomen can usually be removed, especially okay. the ones that are under the belly button. Mm -hmm. There are patients that have stretch marks going up into the upper portions of the abdomen. Unfortunately, those can't be removed. They can be pulled down as part of the tuck. They can mm -hmm. do be, uh, assume a lower position on the abdominal wall, oh. but they will still be present. But they won't be as noticeable. Let's say if a woman wants to wear a bikini, they'll be less noticeable. Hopefully. Just by being in a lower position and being stretched a little bit, they, they should be less noticeable. Okay. Well, that's encouraging still. Yes. And Dr. Cariego, what candidates qualify for an eyelid surgery? I know my mother had that done very successfully. So what generally are your candidates for that? There's, there's two categories of patients that, that uh, qualify for eyelid surgery. The first are the ones that are looking for a rejuvenated appearance of their eyes. Mm -hmm. The upper lid skin now sort of folds down and it's covering most of the upper eyelid and sometimes even the eyelashes. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's primarily a cosmetic issue. Mm -hmm. um, there are patients that have a more severe form of what's called palpebral ptosis and those have this eyelid skin actually hanging over the eyelashes oh. and it can actually interfere with their visual field so they have problems looking up or with, with having their, their vision restricted by having this mechanical obstruction to their upper visual field. Okay, so that wouldn't just be cosmetic, that's absolutely necessary for them. Correct. Yeah, hmm, interesting. And um, if, you're, if you are someone who is suffering from eye strain excess skin on the eyelids, difficulty keeping your eyes open for reading. If you have any of the symptoms here, the doctor was talking about, you could be suffering from, now you're going to have to help me with this doctor, pal palpebral ptosis. Palpebral ptosis. Palpebral ptosis. As the doctor mentioned before, it's not only cosmetic, but it's also a necessary surgery. And then a dad's uh, plastic surgery office has a solution and they're offering a treatment covered 100% with your Medicare. So call 305-262-6070. Call now for your appointment with one of our specialists. We have offices in Miami and Hialeah. Call now. We have medical assistance waiting for your call at this time. Call us at 305-262-6070. That's 305-262-6070. Okay, let's take a short break, and when we return, we will continue our cosmetic surgery conversation with today's special guest, Dr. Cariega. Hair on your upper lip, chin, underarms, bikini line, arms, or legs? Get rid of it with the most advanced laser. Cellulite? Cellu M6 is the latest technology applied by a personal therapist. Surgical procedures for the face, forehead, neck, and nose, which will make you feel as you always dreamed of and will give you the most desirable profile. Hair implant, liposuction, liposuction, tummy tuck, and much more. Remember everyone, Vanadada's Cosmetic Surgery has two convenient locations in Miami and Hialeah. Both locations has state-of-the-art surgical rooms, and both are certified by the Health Department of Florida. For your free consultation with Dr. Cariega, call us at 305-262-6070. We have medical assistants who are waiting to answer your questions and sign you for a completely free consultation with Dr. Cariega. Okay, we have the next question that comes from our website, which is myvanadads.com. 
And uh, the question, the first question is, Dr. Cariega, my uh, breasts are large and gravity has taken over. I've had two pregnancies and they have become very saggy. So she says, I want to lift them, but I also want them to stay firm. Dr. Cariega, what is the solution for this patient? Well, without examining the patient, uh, we have to decide a couple of things, and I do that with her. Uh, number one is, is she happy with the size of the breast? It mm -hmm. sounds like she needs a lift, a breast lift. Mm -hmm. In the breast lift, we restore the normal architecture of the breast that has changed over the years through pregnancy and gravity. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, we have to mold the skin around it to give the breast its more youthful, conical appearance. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Then once we do the lift, if the patient is happy with her current size, mm -hmm. then we just do the lift. If she, it sounds like she says that her yeah. breasts are a little large, at that point we would remove some breast tissue, that's known as a breast reduction mm -hmm. with lift. Mm -hmm. Or if, the, if it were another patient who has, uh, would like a larger volume, we can also additionally put an implant in as part of the lift. Wow. So it all depends on how bad the degree of the of the changes to the breast have been mm -hmm. and then the patient's happiness with their current volume. And you probably notice that a lot with women and pregnancies that, that the breast um, definitely do change. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But there is something that could be done so yes. mommies can start feeling better about themselves, right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's good. There's hope out there, ladies. Okay. Dr. Cariego, what is one of the most common questions uh, patients have when calling the clinic or, or when they, they go onto the website, myvanadazis.com, what is the general recovery time? Uh, in general, what is the recovery time for most of the common surgeries? Well, it really depends on the particular operation and that patient, it's very individual. So, so for example, as we were talking before mm -hmm. about the eyelid surgery, Usually, actually, those patients the next day with a pair of glasses and some makeup, you can't even tell that they had surgery. Really? And the, the pain, the discomfort involved with it is minimal. Wow. Uh, so most of them are able to go back to work and resume their normal lives. Mm -hmm. um, but for the larger operations, liposuction, breast surgery, tummy tuck, I usually tell patients to plan on having a week of time to rest, maybe to 10 days. Okay. And then, but up to that point, it's very individual for the patient. There's patients that two, three days, they feel a lot better and they feel mm -hmm. ready to go back to work. And they, some that they say, yeah, I'm glad I took that week so I can just rest at home, be comfortable to taking the, the uh, medications for the discomfort. So, so in general, it's like about a week, just give yourself enough time to get better. But it, it really varies from patient to patient. Exactly. Okay. From patient to patient and from operation to operation. Okay. So, yeah, it, you know, it's one of those things you just have to depend on how you feel, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have any uh, questions regarding recovery time after surgery or how our surgery is performed before or after care, then you please visit our website at myvanidades.com where you can review Dr. Cariega's credentials and find lots of other interesting information like our 3D cosmetic surgery animation and education library customized exclusively to our practice and for your enjoyment and education. It's free of charge to our patients. And uh, doctor, let's see now what uh, some of the questions are from our website at myvanidades.com. So we have another question from um, a patient, a possible patient. Okay, this, this question, this woman says she's 5'2", and she weighs 202 pounds. Um, she says, after my pregnancies, I've neglected myself and feel horrible. But I don't have enough time to go to the gym. I'm certain that if I do a surgery to remove my excess uh, loose, flabby abdomen, um, it would stimulate me to lose the remaining pounds. Is it possible to get operated on with this weight, or do I have to undergo a diet program offered at Vanadares first? Well, it's a, uh, it's a tough problem because there's a lot of patients that come in and say sort of, I need that kickstart. Uh, right, they want to the, fix. Uh, the liposuction yeah. or the tummy tuck, mm -hmm. and, and then I'll be motivated. Uh, listening to her measurements, her, her height and her weight, it sounds like Five she's two, a two, little two. over the limit of what I would consider safe for surgery. Okay. So I would encourage her to take on a diet and exercise program mm -hmm. to place her in a safe range for surgery, at which point then you would evaluate, number one, how much fat she has mm -hmm. as well as if there is any uh, additional skin, redundant skin that needs to be removed. Okay. And that would determine whether she was a candidate for liposuction, liposuction versus tummy tuck. Okay. So in this particular uh, situation with this patient, you would again just recommend that she lose some weight and then when she comes back and her measurements are taken again, then you could recommend what to right. do. Right. So okay, that, you know, that makes sense. It's, uh, 
it's never an easy fix. You have to do a little of the work yeah, first. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. If you have uh, Medicare, this information is for you, so listen up. Are you suffering from leg pain, night cramps, and fatigue while walking? You could be suffering from a circulatory venous disease. Vanadotti's Cosmetic Surgery has over 20 years of experience in treating circulatory problems, eliminating varicose veins, pain-free and without surgery. Wow. Call 305-262-6070 for your consultation with one of our specialists. Our offices are in Miami and Hialeah, and all treatments are performed by the prestigious Dr. Yazim Kalifel. He's a specialist in laser and varicose vein treatment. We have medical assistants who are waiting to answer your questions and sign you up for a completely free consultation with Dr. Cariega. Let's take a short break, and when we return, we will continue our cosmetic surgery conversation with today's special guest, Dr. Cariega. Hair on your upper lip, chin, underarms, bikini line, arms, or legs? Get rid of it with the most advanced laser. Cellulite? Cellu M6 is the latest technology applied by a personal therapist. Surgical procedures for the face, forehead, neck, and nose, which will make you feel as you always dreamed of and will give you the most desirable profile. Hair implant, liposuction, liposuction, tummy tuck, and much more. Welcome, viewers. Friends, remember, if you have Medicare, this could solve your eye or leg problems. Vanadettes has your solution, offering treatments covered 100% with your Medicare. Call now, 305-262-6070, for your free consultation with one of our specialists with offices in Miami and Hialeah. Call now. We have medical assistants waiting for your call at this time. Call us at 305-262-6070. 305-262-6070. Doctor, I have here the most frequent questions that has been sent to our web pages, our website, that is, at myvanadades.com. Okay, doctor, so what is, um, what is the difference between a general surgeon and a plastic surgeon? Well, a general surgeon is a surgeon that has gone through medical school, has done a general surgery residency, and operates on basically every part of the body, organs, intestines, liver, you name it. Mm -hmm. uh, a plastic surgeon can be a general surgeon, it can be an ear, nose, and throat surgeon, mm -hmm. um, it can be uh, pretty much for many of the surgical subspecialties who then later on goes on to do additional training in plastic surgery. Okay. In plastic surgery, you learn to reconstruct uh, problems in the body that are related to either cancer, trauma, or congenital or birth defects. Mm -hmm. um, in addition is where you specialize in cosmetic surgery and facial rejuvenation, body contouring, aesthetic breast surgery, so improving the breasts either through augmentation, lifting, or reducing. Uh, so it's just additional, more specific training in these particular areas. Okay, so there is definitely a, a major difference. Right. Yes, you want to go to a, a plastic surgeon when you... For yeah. your cosmetic yes, surgery. Yes, for your cosmetic surgery, yes. Um, remember, viewers, the website is myvanadades.com. It has all kinds of information for you. Here you will find a graphic animated explanation or 3D animation of all the surgeries and what to do before and after each surgery. You'll also find interviews with all the doctors and each doctor's explanation of the cosmetic surgeries that he or she performs. Dr. Cariegas, I have some more questions for you. Um, does your experience as a general surgeon um, help you perform cosmetic surgeries? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. My years as a general surgeon, I learned, number one, how to operate, number two, how to operate under pressure, mm -hmm. uh, and number three, of course, the detailed knowledge of anatomy that comes along with it. Um, and I've taken all those experiences that I had during my general surgery training and applied them to my plastic surgery uh, background so that I think it overall makes me a better surgeon in general. Absolutely, I mean, it gives your patients a lot more confidence sure. also in picking the right surgeon. Um, remember everyone, Vanadette's Cosmetic Surgery has two convenient locations in Miami and Hialeah, and both locations have state-of-the-art surgical rooms, and both are certified by the Health Department of Florida. For your free consultation with Dr. Cariega, call us at 305-262-6070. We have medical assistants who are waiting to answer your questions and sign you for a completely free consultation with Dr. Cariega. That's amazing. It's free. Doctor, here is another question from myvanadades.com website. Okay, this one is actually different. This is from a gentleman. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, women, I guess we always assume it's only women that want Not plastic always. surgery. No. Um, this man asked a sort of a sensitive question. Can men with large breasts reduce the size with liposuction or surgeries? That all depends. Uh, he's referring to a condition called gynecomastia. Okay, that's which a big is, word. It is a big word. <laughs> and what it basically means is that it's a man that has excessive breast tissue. Okay. Now, there's three grades. The first grade is just a little bit of mild breast tissue, mm -hmm. normal amount of skin. Uh, the second is a little more breast tissue. There's starting to be a little bit of excess skin. Mm -hmm. And the third grade is a severe amount of breast tissue and a lot of excess skin. Mm. The milder and up to the moderate forms can be greatly improved with liposuction alone. Mm -hmm. Once you start to get a lot of excess skin, now that needs to be surgically removed in addition to the liposuction. Oh, because so, it's going to be sagging. Exactly, yeah. exactly, which is not a very nice result. So I have to examine the patient, see exactly where he falls in that category, and then decide which operation would best suit him. Okay, but it, definitely there is hope out there for someone Absolutely. who is suffering from this, because I'm sure it makes them uncomfortable. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, and for those patients that complain about having large ears, this is another question from our website um, at uh, myvenadatis.com. Um, is there a solution for these patients, and, and how, how complicated is, is this surgery? There absolutely is a uh, solution for them. The surgery entails uh, making an incision behind the ear where the scar will be very well hidden. Okay. And molding the cartilage. The cartilage is sort of the soft uh, connective tissue framework of the ear. Okay. Cartilage is, is a material that's not quite as strong as bone, but it gives support and structure to certain parts of the body like your nose and your ear. Mm -hmm. In the case of what you call prominent ears or large ears, you have to remove some of the cartilage and mold what's left behind to bring the ear closer to the head and give it sort of that more natural look to it. Um, so like when people have their ears, they stick out, is that kind of what, a common problem? Right, right. Okay. That's what I'm referring to. And, and some, some people call it pinning of the ears, but mm -hmm. it's, it's really just taking some of the cartilage out, molding the cartilage that's behind, sometimes removing a little bit of extra skin to bring the ear a little closer to the head. Wow, and there's so many things that you can do in plastic surgery today. That's just amazing. Um, here is another question from myvenedades.com. We have another qu uh, patient who has a question. Um, okay, she, I am a 40-year-old woman who has given birth twice via vaginal delivery. After giving birth, sexual relations with my husband are different. Okay, this is a little bit of a sensitive topic here. Um, the sensations are much less, and this has brought conflicts in our relationship with my husband and with me. So this is probably something that most people don't like to talk about too much. It's a little, little um, makes people a little shy, but this is really a, a, you know, something that is done very often and really can be life-changing. It's important. So what do you have to say to a patient like this? Well, number one, you're absolutely right. This is a sensitive area, yeah. but it's one that if, if, a, uh, if a woman has a, an issue, if, if she's having uh, uncomfortable sexual relations, mm -hmm. it should be addressed. Um, a lot of times there can be an excess of, of uh, skin in the area called the labia, mm -hmm. in the vagina, um, in which case that can become irritated during sexual relations and of course become very uncomfortable for her. Uh, there is an operation that we can do called a labioplasty where we remove that excess skin, bring down the volume and uh, restore it to its more youthful uh, appearance and feel so that it no longer becomes irritated during relations. Wow, so it's actually a reconstructive uh, vaginal surgery? Is that what this surgery is? Yes. That's pretty amazing. Um, Wow, <laughs> I never heard about that before. That's amazing uh, to know that uh, the people at Venedes can actually help improve all areas of your mm -hmm. life then. If you're a patient who has a problem with their sex lives by the nature of your sexual organ, Venedes Cosmetic Surgery has a program to address each of these symptoms with the programs of vaginal reconstruction and rejuvenation as the doctor talked about. Uh, Venedes, Venedes handles this completely confidential. So it's handled with the utmost care and confidentiality. And uh, we have designed a special assistant to handle these calls in a highly confidential manner. So call and ask for the Vaginal Rejuvenation Program. For your free consultation with Dr. Cariega, call us at 305-262-6070. We have medical assistants who are waiting to answer your questions and sign you up for a completely free uh, consultation with Dr. Cariega. Let's take a short break, and when we return, we will continue our cosmetic surgery conversation with today's special guest, Dr. Cariega. 
Hair on your upper lip, chin, underarms, bikini line, arms, or legs? Get rid of it with the most advanced laser. Cellulite? Cellu M6 is the latest technology applied by a personal therapist. Surgical procedures for the face, forehead, neck, and nose, which will make you feel as you always dreamed of and will give you the most desirable profile. Hair implant, liposuction, liposuction, tummy tuck, and much more. Dr. Cariego, what is the surgery that you perform most frequently? I would say it's a combination of liposuction, breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, we do a lot of abdominoplasty, the tummy tuck operation, um, and those are all sort of the probably the most common ones, uh, both here locally and nationally. Okay. Okay. So that's great. That's uh, that's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. A lot of exciting stuff. You could really change your whole your whole figure if you yeah. want to. Yeah. yeah. And remember everyone, Venedata's Cosmetic Surgery has two convenient locations in Miami and Hialeah. And both locations have state-of-the-art surgical rooms and both are certified by the Health Department of Florida. For your free consultation with Dr. Cariega, call us at 305-262-6070. We have medical assistants who are waiting to answer your questions and to sign you up for a completely free consultation with Dr. Cariega. Dr. Cariega, this has been a very informative show. I know I've learned a lot and I'm sure our viewers have been well informed and educated about plastic surgery and their options. Thank you. Thank you for, for coming in and um, thank you for all that you offer people out there and for women and like me and men who uh, want to improve their lives. It's really nice to know that they have someone who cares. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. And thank you for joining us. And remember, check out the website for uh, Vanidades Cosmetic Surgery at www.vanidades.com. And remember, we have offices in Miami and Hialeah. And we also have uh, operators who are standing by to answer your questions, take your calls. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Thanks, doctor. Thank you. Today, women want to see in the mirror what she feels on the inside. At Vanadetta's Cosmetic Surgery, we can help you realize a more beautiful you. We are the expert on enhancing your natural beauty. Give us a call to schedule a free appointment with one of our board-certified cosmetic surgeons at 305-262-6070. We set the standards for cosmetic surgery, laser treatments, and skin rejuvenation. Let the mirror show what we can do for you with liposuction, suction with laser starting at $1,200. Ladies, do you want to increase a cup size or two? Our board certified surgeons specialize in breast implants starting at $3,000, tummy tuck starting at $3,700. Tired of shaving or your skin getting irritated? With our state-of-the-art hair laser treatment, you can permanently say goodbye to your underarm hair, hair on your legs, bikini line, and those hard-to-reach places. Our prices are the best. All treatment performed by board-certified doctors. Call us today or go online to www.myvanadettes.com. Don't let another day pass by by thinking about it. Take the first step to a new, more beautiful, glamorous you. Remember, you deserve it. Call us today at 305-262-6070. Banco porque el banco se sale del negocio que, en que estaba. También ayuda a la persona que está perdiendo su propiedad, porque les ayuda a, 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 a una solución, o sea, les le da una solución eh, factible, una solución que les va a ayudar a salirse del problema. Um, y también eso, en con movimiento del mercado y compras de casas, también crea trabajo para, para mucha gente, para el pintor, para el que vende pisos, eh, para el que vende muebles, Sí, porque eh, generalmente se vendió una casa y, sí, y acá, y más en este país, sí. todo y, lo empiezan de nuevo. O sea, y la economía, la sí. economía de la Florida está basada eh, en, 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 en ventas de, de propiedades y construcción de propiedades. Entonces, entre más movimiento hay, mejor para el mercado y más se va arreglando. O sea que definitivamente eh, hay muchas oportunidades para el inversionista, pero también es una gran ayuda.